Hey guys, hey guys. Um, I know this is just a random video, but this is just me replacing brakes on this uh, Chevy Adventure van. This replies for all Chevys. Um, I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul in this van. If you guys are wondering what I mean, is the van, yeah, yeah, you guys would see how hard it is to get these brake shoes out. Those are vans I robbed Peter to pay Paul. If anybody knows, for all my new subscribers, they don't won't know this, but my Intrigue had brand new front brakes and rear brakes put on it. Well, I stole the brakes, rotors, and brake pads off the Intrigue. And you can tell these things don't even have much mileage on them. So I stole the hardware and brake pads and rotors off the Intrigue. Yes, those will fit this van. So step one, jack up your vehicle. Step two, put some safety under DC vehicle, unless you're like crazy like me and don't want to put safety under it. Step three, take off your tire. <laughs> Step four, start cussing at the bolts. Because they're not going to come off. Step five, throw your hands in the air and take your vehicle to the mechanic. Step six, guys. Step six. Cry when you get your bill back from the mechanics. <clears throat> Step seven. Buy some Vaseline. Alright, on a Chevy van or car or whatever, any type of Chevy actually guys, all you need is a 15 wrench, a 15, this is a Harbor Freight 15 inch extension, hand, long handle, I don't know, um, 15 on it, a little pry bar. Now, for me, I'm going to turn the steering out. You mother by your jaw. Step 20, beat the mechanic that worked on his van last. See if we can crack it loose. Step 20, start crying. Ugh. <sighs> 
So we'll be back as soon as I get the other brakes off the other car. Alright, peace out guys, have fun. Alright guys, we got a uh, bracket shiny again. And I got the rotors cleaned up.
All right, there we go, guys. This is stainless steel hardware. See how reflection it is? There's no rust. All right, let's tilt you guys back up. And yes, I am using the specialized brake crap. And I just pat the back of these just a tad bit. And then I do the front where the brakes are at. Anybody's wondering how these goes, the long end goes out. And on these shoes, the squealer, that little tab there, goes on the outside. And again, I just put a little bit on the shield. And that's how your brake shoe should be. You shouldn't have to pound it out of the hole. That's perfect. And the easiest way to do it is do your bottom first. Do the bottom of the ear of the shoe and slide that, get that locked in, then slide the top up. Now, crap, I don't have my tool. Now we got to clean this off. Clean up your guide pin. We also got to chip all this rust out of here, too.
that's good enough for me. We need, I need to get my tool to compress that. For right now, we'll hold it like that, and I'll be back. All right, guys. I got a brake kit from Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh. Um, a lot of you guys don't know, but I used to own a lot of um, Mac O, Mac, Snap-on tools, but they got stolen in a storage unit. So, instead of buying all that high-end expensive tools, I bought a cheap brake kit. Does it do what I need to do? Yes. I have had no problems with this kit. Um, there's a lot of amazing tool uh, stuff in here. Um, let me get you guys set up. Maybe. How about sending you guys right on the suspension or the axle? There we go. Now you want to find your. Uh, there's two different types of screw in for this. Left hand and right hand. You want your right hand screw in. And then you want You want your right hand screw in with the flat bar or plate with a zero. And lay this sucker in here. Now, if this don't work, I got another tool. Advance, don't be fucking stupid. Excuse my French. Be back in a minute. Alright, guys, got another tool. This one is a very cheap one. Power built for brake calibers, but it'll work for what I need it to do. I'm hoping. It's never fell on me yet. Nope, this one ain't gonna work. Oh, I hate, I hate this van. The van and me is gonna kill each other.
I don't know guys. Just give me a few minutes. Alright, I figured it out after I shut off the camera. I forgot that this is can, can do that. But we'll see. Now it's being a good boy. It worked. Alright. Now it worked because I told her it was being stupid. Alright, now that we got that all figured out. Alright, now I gotta let you guys sit on here. I gotta turn the steering in. Good for the caliper, but oh well. I gotta put all new brake lines and hoses on anyway, so screw it all. Now, a very light coating of this crap's all you really need. Too much, you're gonna have problems. All you need for that. <clears throat> Why are you not? Oh, I hate this fucking van. So sick of this van. Now if you guys are wondering, yes, this van's going to get new calipers, caliper, caliper brackets, uh, new hoses, new brake lines, but not right away. But I ain't worried about that stripped out bolt. Take your other pin now. And 
get all this old grease off from it. And just smear it up around. It's a thin coat. Now tighten it up. Move your caliper in and out, which mine moves freely now. So there's how you do a brake job. Catch you guys later. I'm irritated. See ya. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you how I do this cleaning crap. I have these little cookies here. This is a three inch, and I also have some two inch strip stripping disc. I'll put a link to these online. And we also got to clean this up.
Alright guys, now let's get your tire put back on. Now, don't forget guys, pump up your brakes. And that's how I set a set of brakes. Because you guys can see why you want to set your brakes. Alright, see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.